This is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagad, Mysore. And uh, today we will be talking about the planet Rahu. Uh, actually, there is no physical you know, entity called as Rahu uh, or Ketu. We, we are discussing about the intersection points of the orbits of the moon, orbit of the moon to that of the orbit of the sun around earth. So the intersection point where the moon comes out cutting through the uh, orbit of sun, the plane of the orbit of sun is called Rahu and where it goes inside and goes down that's called Ketu and as moon keeps going around earth the points of Rahu and Ketu also keep moving backwards or forwards depending on how it moves. So uh, moon keeps going around like this and the points keep going around like this. So so that is why it is uh, always in the retro uh, direction. Uh, there are uh, theories uh, that is if you go to the exact true Rahu and true Ketu and since the orbit of Rahu and Ketu uh, on the plane of the ecliptic is oh, not, not exactly circular and it is elliptical so what will happen is some of the in very very rare occasions Rahu and Ketu also are direct in motion that is they become retro they are always retro that is they are always reverse anti-clockwise suddenly when they become retro they become clockwise so that means they start moving from Aries Taurus uh, Gemini so this this is a scientific mathematical phenomena and uh, for the calculation purpose, we have made it into a circle and taken mean Rahu and mean Ketu. But if if people are there, you know, going to the higher levels of understanding Rahu and Ketu uh, in the research level and they would want to understand what is the difference, actual difference of a true Rahu uh, and a mean Rahu, uh, a regular uh, direct motion Rahu and a retro Rahu, that it is left to the great researchers of astrology, let them do it. So let us go into the um, characteristics of Rahu. I have written here around six major characteristics of Rahu. Rahu does not have a, anything like a Karakatva or a signification like Ketu which is Moksha Karaka. There is no Karakatva for Rahu as such. Usually people tell that it is a Bhadaka. Uh, it causes a lot of uh, problems like uh, diseases because it is the Karaka for impurity. But there are some six important Karakatvas which I have listed down here. Like they have the Rahu, the positive Karakatvas of Rahu are that people with Rahu are having great ambition. They keep doing what they want to do in bigger, bigger levels. They keep expanding and uh, trying to provide big, you know, industrial opportunities, uh, work, you know, a lot of opportunities for people to work. And they have a lot of orientation. The problem with Rahu when it becomes negative is that they, you know, deviate from the orientation and go into confusions and unnecessary indulgence and finally you get dissatisfied, so dissatisfaction. So, <clears throat> there might be some, uh, uh, you know, thunder uh, which you might be listening because this is the Rahu's class, so thunder is happening, it's raining, it's thundering, so let's have, okay. So it's confusion, impurity, foreign body or Mlecha, Rahu and Ketu are called Mlecha Grahas because they come out of the Chaturvarna, they are not inside the Chaturvarna. Chaturvarna like Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, all the planets are divided, all the seven planets are classified within Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra except for Rahu and Ketu because they are called Mlechas. Mlechas here is not the direct meaning of anything like untouchable, no, Mlechas here means that they are outsiders, not outcast, outsiders. So there are different, there are there, is, there are two meanings of Mlechas, so please do not take the other meaning of which we had a lot of conflict within India. The meaning actually is outsider, a foreign person, a foreign particle, a foreign body. So when any foreign particle body like a steel plate which is put the nuts and bolts are put to join the bones for fracture this is represented by Rahu if you put a stent in the heart it is represented by Rahu if you put a pulse uh, you know pulse maker you know pacemaker that's also Rahu 
you put a false teeth here or a false eye inside the eye eye, eye socket it is rahu anything which is foreign inside a person's body is rahu including somebody else's kidney which is transplanted inside a body inside somebody else's body like if a person receives a kidney uh, in transplantation and people have kind of got confused i also had earlier got confused that both the kidneys of this guy was removed and thrown and there was a big cavity there and one kidney was kept there no kidney transplantation does not happen there at all the the kidneys which are there are still alive but not functioning properly there is a dysfunction or malfunctioning another kidney is inserted somewhere in between in, behind the navel so that place is for transplantation people do not take out and throw the kidneys so I'm just giving you an insight because i had totally understood it on the other way around so uh, all transplantations any foreign thing which has kept inside most of them are plastic fiber like they put the fiber net uh, 3d net for the hernia when the uh, hernia operation is done and then it is uh, the suture is made it is born brought back to shape in the you know the intestine sac has cut off and it is clean readied and then they put a net so that it will once again not develop a sac so hernia so all this comes under rahu so <coughs> this is with regard to medical astrology what i told that so many things no implants there are people who go for implants now you understand what i am talking now this is plastic surgery you know going for injunctions uh, you know unnecessarily making the lip look always in this uh, pouted uh, uh, stupid idiotic uh, uh, you know mm, uh, shape that's for a different market rahu is pseudo false fake trying to fake your own self into some other pseudo reality that is an image which you perceive you think you get obsessively attached to it and then you want to become that so that is also rahu they have there are people who have tattooed themselves all over the body they have not even left a single inch over their body you know there are people who have got 90% tattoos over the body so there are people who have you know um, uh, got their teeth uh, sharpened in such a way that there there are people who are called as the leopard man you know the cat man people who have transformed their bodies into such uh, different shapes they want to look like that so this is rahu a person who does not want to live simple is also rahu a person who wants to show off is also rahu a person who wants to go into extravaganza he wants to show off in a very big way main daan dharm kar raha hu let me do it in a such a big way that people will recognize me that recognition is rahu not the daan dharm which is done or the charity which is done so not for recognition this is for unnecessary popularity this is rahu so let me go to the uh, uh you know the benefit part of it they are industrialists very good industrialists they think big they plan big they execute big they don't sleep much they are very oriented towards whatever they want to do and if these people know what actually they want in their life they will achieve it at, with force so they are materialistic they are very shrewd in business they are uh, research people and in research they go to all lengths of uh, you know no. cutting off their personal uh, lives and fully dedicating their life body physically mentally you know we call tanu mana dan they put the whole lot of themselves into research and these are the people who can who do it like madam curie who went in for uh, finding out radium or the radioactive element and finally what happened um, madam curie and her husband both who were researchers finally died of over exposure to radiation of you know radioactive radiation so this is the what we call as takat that is the endurance power the power to show that we can do something that is positive i am talking now i am not talking about the negativity like harassment going through you know bodily difficulties going through a different type of a sexual harassment all this comes under rahu if the rahu is placed in such a place in the flap 
in the horoscope where the person will have to go through all this type of uh, uh, difficulties that also is rahu but in the same way the positive part is a person can endure harsh temperatures harsh environment and come out and achieve and that is rahu this cannot be done by any other seven planets what we are talking sun to saturn will never be able to do this so uh, it is tamoguna they do not have any mercy they are rude they are clear plain point blank they talk there is no sarcasm they are not critical about their talk they are like if it can happen do it or else please get out so they are they are very clear they are not like if it happens please do it if it doesn't happen try it once again if you don't have the strength i will come and support you nothing like that you can do it do it or else if you are not there you are not your place here is no more you can please go i'll hire somebody else and get this job done so they are have no mercy okay the emotion is zero so um <clears throat> rahu actually gives too much so a human being cannot take that much power of rahu uh, a person can take one idea at a time two ideas maximum three ideas he cannot take a hundred ideas you know all hundred ideas are like they can happen and they are the best ideas in the world and this person will lose his sleep he will be always in a dreamy state always optimistic trying to do things and finally he wants to do everything and he'll fail the problem with rahu is that a, a native who is got has got the strong influence of rahu cannot resist himself in doing one thing at a time so what will happen he will surpass the 24 hour mark he will not be able to finish it that by that day so dissatisfaction will start creeping inside he will tell that uh, he will tell to himself that he is not capable so that negativity depression or the tendencies of you know quitting everything and you know quitting even life comes because of this negative part of rahu so um, the the tatvas and the um, uh, chemicals what it represents are intoxicating chemicals is is acidic intoxicating in the sense of alcohol tobacco drugs uh, the smell which is very intoxicating you know all perfumes are not perfumes some of them are intoxicating seductive so rahu is like that it is secretive people can become strong detectives in the private detectives rather than one who are in the you know central bureau of investigation who are paid salaries these people are not paid salaries they can go in for blackmailing they can go in for so many things which as which is most of them are underground and secret nobody knows it so they get attached to electronic gadgets and they are very good at hacking uh, going ahead uh, uh, in very high positions in electronics and uh, uh, you know like computers they are very good in problem solving and the problem the point is that they they don't need anybody to felicitate them like sun sun needs person to be felicitated they want them to be called to the stage and you know told that this is the guy who did this for the society sun will be very proud jupiter also will be very proud when people fall to the guruji's feet and tell because of you the society is in harmony jupiter will feel that my life you know great i am rahu does not want anything like this rahu wants to satisfy his own himself if he does something positive or negative i am telling he does something and it is good he feels good it is something like um, you now plundering from the rich and distributing to the poor rahul loves it rahul loves that and if if that you know in many of the movies we see these type of characters who are made into you know heroes plundering and then distributing to the power poor so this communist behavior is seen in the rahu the other way around also is seen if it becomes negative these people can become uh, you know carriers of bombs they can just attach their bombs to their body and they can start blasting human bombs these guys can get mesmerized totally transformed by teachers so that is why jupiter and venus have a very important role to play in the society today because we don't want rahus running into our borders 
running into our cities and blowing up themselves and killing lot of people so rahu can do a lot of things which are dangerous so if it is not terrorism outside from country to country the same rahu can enter into our body become a cancerous pathogen or a cancerous uh, element uh, a cancerous foreign body which can create tumor which can create diseases which can actually interrupt our uh, organs functioning normally they can start making them malfunction if they can go into the brain you know that there are a lot of worms and uh, uh, infections or fungal infections which are happening now uh, today the, the rage in the news is the black fungus so this is represented by rahu nothing else if keta poison goes inside that is represented by ketu that i'll come tomorrow but today we are talking about something we don't see but it happens you don't take a spoon of fungus into your mouth and tell the let it come we don't eat it eat the spores of this black fungus is so thin it is in microns that floats in the air goes into your nostril gets embedded into your sinus sinus it gets embedded into the nose it goes into the eye it gets embedded into your uh, you know the uh, the pore of the eye that is uh, what is the pore of the eye pupil i forget suddenly man so parts of the eye itself if i forget what is there so of uh, the pupil then they start playing their part like this the fungus anyway starts growing they multiply and they kill the part so this is what is happening so many many infections of rahu are not visible at the first cancer you can see many people on the street who are suffering from cancer going to the uh, doctor going through chemotherapy they look normal until unless they start you know losing hair they will go bald but anyway they wear wigs nowadays so we have to be compassionate towards these people because they are suffering enormous pain enormous pain rahu can inflict hell into somebody because it 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 uh, the pain of what rahu gives no other planet gives it it makes you um, lose your confidence hope you will fall into hopelessness so when rahu is hitting somebody from inside through a disease like cancer or through something like a kidney dysfunction you know nephritis or something like that then the lot of compassion and care has to be shown so uh, it takes to a level uh, where sometimes uh, you know people can't do anything about it because after a particular level of uh, infection it simply goes out that is it goes to the blood it goes to many organs so we need to simply see the suffering there are so many moments in our life that we have seen people suffer but we can't do anything about it that is helplessness rahu shows helplessness in disasters also in calamities like floods in calamities like you know the acid rain or whatever you know pompeii is one of the biggest examples where uh, a volcano dust simply came and slept over you know engulfed a city uh, a beautiful bustling city of pompeii and people wherever they were sitting whatever they were doing children um, you know enjoying they all simply became statues please go through it and just see so this is rahu i think it is pompeii if i am wrong please i will correct it later on but i think it is pompeii so uh let me go through the next level of it uh, this they are smoky in color so what actually rahu does to a person is suddenly of all the sudden the next day morning the person will go blank he will have done all the preparation and he'll go blank it is as good as i give an example always when i teach in my college in the college uh, the example is that let us take that you are riding a your two wheeler you know in a straight beautiful road imagine a road which you can see for let's say around 2 to 3 kilometers straight there is not a single soul on the road or that is that there is not a soul there is not a person on the road because you can't see the soul so there is there are nobody who can even enter the road because it is cordoned so the single road smooth simple and you are going at cruising speed you are happy because you can see around 2 to 10 kilometers such a beautiful road suddenly 
out of nowhere a field somebody um, you know puts on a fire in a sugar cane field or something like that which happens normally in places like punjab so they light it up and the thick white smoke comes and simply you know covers the road moments before let's say 2 seconds before you have seen that it was through and it was clean will you simply go in the same speed you know that you know you can't see the road ahead but you know that there is nobody there you can simply cruise nobody will go like that they will suddenly apply brakes they will go slow cautious why does this happen though you know that it is straight ahead there is road there is not a single degree of deviation and the road is fully free there is not a single you know hump or anything like that there is no obstruction at all but still when the smoke comes there the white thick ashy smoke comes there in front of you and you are obstructed from the view of the road you will slow down it is human nature you will slow down cautiously sometimes you will stop people will just park on the left side they will stop they are afraid this panic is what rahu causes rahu is an unknown sudden appearance of an obstacle you wait you wait for some time patience is important here don't do anything fantastic until rahu passes away because you cannot blow to the smoke can you blow can you do anything can you take a, a fan and blow away the smoke no it doesn't happen it just goes there and again circles and encircles and comes back smoke should dissipate you know it will dissipate by itself it should move by itself it will never it cannot be you know suddenly you know smoke cannot go away anywhere um just a minute